channel. Today we're doing things a little bit differently. As you know by now, I have asked all of you guys what questions do you have for me regarding style and how I dress as a trans woman. So here it is, we're finally doing it. It's gloomy outside, so don't mind the lighting. I have so many lights in this apartment right now, my light bill is gonna be But yes, let's get started. So first of all, I just want you to know this video is not a video intended to tell you what you should wear and what's in style and what's not in style. I think everybody has different style and different tastes. That's what makes it great. But if you can find a couple of things here and there in this video that you can incorporate into your own wardrobe, I think I would have done my job. So yeah, let's make it enjoyable. So the first question is, what's your most worn item? My most worn item? are these shoes. This is Nike Air Force One. I think everybody has one in their closet. With my recent surgery with SRS, I have to really prioritize comfort over everything. So these shoes are super comfortable and they kind of go with everything in my wardrobe. You can kind of dress up, dress down. Yeah, I really, really love them. I think they're super cute. And a pair of white sneakers is never gonna go out of style. The next question is, what's the first item you bought as a trans woman? I believe that I was on HRT for about four months when I saw changes in my body and they happened really, really fast. All of a sudden, I need a bra. And this is the oldest bra that I had. They actually from H&M. Like I'm off of surgeries and stuff, but it's just like this area, I've always liked it pretty natural. My breast didn't fluctuate with the weight. When I first got out of surgery, I lost like 20 pounds, so I had like no breast. Now that I've gained all the weight back, they actually pretty good right now. I think they're a full B right now. With the help of this bra, it just... It makes everything <laughs> looks really great. This bra right here, I still keep. As you see, they have weather with me through so many different adventures. I've been looking for one that just like this. They a little bit padded in the back. This is a one bra that I wear underneath a lot of dresses, and um, they're still in pretty good condition. Nothing fall apart. It's just the color kind of faded. What's your go-to outfit when you have nothing to wear? So this is it. This is the dress that I had since. 2016. It's one piece that every time I'm in a rush or I'm doubting what I should wear or I don't feel confident, I put this dress on and I feel like a million bucks. I love it. It does everything that I want it to do. It has this little sleeve. It makes you feel really feminine and then just like the way the fabric just like wraps around. This dress actually has two layers. This layer right here has like a knit. It's more stretchy and the one on top doesn't have any stretch at all. So it actually creates that like shape that everybody's looking for. I personally don't think that you have to wear something really expensive to feel like a million bucks. I am a big believer in making something inexpensive look expensive just by your confidence. It's been like five, six years and I still feel amazing in it. This is also the dress that tell me where I'm at with my weight. I'm not obsessed with my weight or anything, don't get me wrong. I really feel that I can pull off any size, but the thing is all of my clothes are size two and four. So when I go above it, I would have to get a whole new wardrobe. So I don't want to do that. Also, this dress, it would do with any shoes. You can wear it with a little slip-on like this. They also would look super cute and summery in your sneakers. It actually looks really cute with a pair of like knee-high boots also. But this dress is super versatile. The next question is, what is one item every trans girl should have in their closet? One of the items that I think not just trans women, but every woman should have in their closet is a wrap dress. And this one is from Diane Von Furstenberg. I have always been a big fan of hers. And putting on a wrap dress, you just feel really mature and kind of like you're a woman, you know? Like you're not a girl anymore, you're kind of like a woman. Like you're owning it in a different way. I absolutely love it. I have another one right here that I had cut really short. Should I put this on? Okay, I will. Ta-da! I just really, really love the shape of it. You know, I love everything long sleeve. I actually think they really flattering when you have long sleeves on. What's one piece that describes your style? 
Describing my style, I do think it's the blazer. Like this one right here is one of my favorite. It's absolutely beautiful. I have so many blazers and they go with so many different outfits. This one right here from Reformation is beautiful. It's kind of loud, I know, but also, I mean, when you dress, you have to think about it. Are you dressing to fit in or are you dressing to stand out? I always have to dress like myself and it just happens to stand out. Like even this one, just like the pinstripe, I love. I've been wearing a lot of like really comfortable clothes, I know. Like you've seen in my vlog, it's always like a t-shirt, short, skirt, and jeans. For me, the idea of dressing up is like I have to put on my heels and stuff. And right now, when I put on my heels, I can't walk anywhere except this video. <laughs> so yeah, I can't wait to like, I'm fully capable of doing that. The most expensive thing you ever bought for yourself. The most expensive thing I ever bought for myself is my Dior saddlebag. I absolutely am the biggest fan of John Galliano. I remember when I was in college, like every fashion show of his, I was one of the first one to watch it and just like obsess over everything, going to the library and read about him, read about his work and all of that. We all know the little controversy, but you know, I still really appreciate the workmanship because it's not just him, it's the whole team, the creative team behind it that really put into the work. So I remember when I was able to buy something from him, I would just like, I have to go get this stuff back. You can wear it with this even, it looks very, very classy. Or you can even dress down, just like a baseball cap, blazer jacket, tank top and jeans, and it will still look really great. I know that not everyone's gonna go out there and get a designer piece, but this is how I think of it. Every piece that I get, I think about it as an investment piece. So if you invest in something, it's like a piece of art and you can wear it forever the quality. I mean, this bag is like at least, what, 20 years old? And it's still in good condition. And you know, this is something that you can, well, I mean, I'm not, I don't have children, but if I could pass it on to someone, I would, you know? It's just like a really, really beautiful piece. Everything that I buy, I actually wear. I'm not the kind of person who like into fast fashion and just get a couple of pieces and then have to change so often. I am someone who would wear, you know, that one piece a lot. I would like get the most use out of it. So yeah, that's how I see it. The next question is, what would you wear on a date with a DL man? I don't date DL men, so I wouldn't know. If you could wear one brand for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would say vintage Gianni Versace. Like this piece right here is the blazer dress. Let me put it on. So this right here is vintage Gianni Versace blazer jacket. I think it's like from the 1991 collection. This is one piece that makes me feel the most powerful and also sexy at the same time. I love the juxtaposition of masculine and feminine. Like this for me is like the definition of it. It cuts really well. And like I said about like investment pieces, like this is one thing that would last forever and it's been what 20 30 years and it's still in such good condition i mean even though some of the button needs to be replaced but um i love it it's also one thing that you can wear with like you know high heels a pair of tights i love to dress it in a very edgy way like this is how i use a dress usually which is very very all black very new york uniform also edgy so yeah this pair of boots, I know that I said I don't shop fast fashion, but like this is like six years ago. One of the first pair of boots that I bought myself was this one. This is from Zara. And every time I wear it, everyone kept asking me if they were Chanel, and they're not. I just love the way it hugs my legs really, really well. And they're super comfortable. I could wear this like, you know, eight, 10 hours and then go clubbing after. Even though they kind of falling apart on me a little bit, but I still am very, very much in love with it. This is one pair of boots that like every winter I would go and have them repair. They would like repaint it, add a new sole, make them more doable. But you know, I know someday that I have to give up this pair of boots, but if you know me back then, you probably see me wearing these boots like walk around the city all the time. Just like, like she's ready, you know. If you wanted a little bit more classic feminine touch, you can wear this pair of Manolo Blahnik. I love them. I just love the heels. It's like perfect. It's so sharp. It's like dressed to kill. This is Mary Jane's patent leather shoes. You remember that episode on Sex and the City when she went into the closet at Vogue and she pulled out his pair of shoes? Manolo Blahnik, Mary Jane's. I thought these were an urban shoe myth. 
kind of just want you to appreciate how beautiful this is. The way the shoes is made. I shop a lot of consignment store and vintage store. These are pieces that have existed in like a couple decades already and they still hold really good value and condition and they, like once in a while they kind of like circle back and come back in style so why not invest in something good? A pair of jacket from H&M is like what 50 bucks? You know consignment store you can really find good pieces for the same price. Who is your fictional fashion icon? Fictional fashion icon would be Cruella de Vil. I love all of her style. I think she dressed great. Anime characters, I love. Also, Sailor Moon, that's like, that's my childhood hero. I just loved it. I love the way all the scout girls dress. Like they just wear really short mini skirt, high heels, fighting evil. I mean, unrealistic, but hey. I was young and it really helped with my imagination how I'm gonna dress in the future. Next question is, what's your outfit for a international Sunday brunch? I mean for brunch, what's more classic than this? A blazer, a white t-shirt and denims. If you feel a little bit more like you had a long night, just put on your cap. If you're not a big fan of the hat, do sunglasses. This is a pair that you guys see all the time because it's my current favorite. Just imagine it, just like all your friends are waiting and you're just like, oh my God, guys, I had such a good night. Okay, can I get a drink? You know, like that basically what this look is. So this is my look for international brunch because you can basically wear this look in any city and you will look right in. Now, if you're not feeling the denim, I would say a little pants, you know, when the weather a little bit more chilly. Like, this is such a great look. The thing about it is like when I wear leather pants, since I'm not like 5'10", I would like for it to be a little flare so it just kind of help elongate your body. This is my international Sunday brunch for girls a little bit edgier. This is my post-pandemic party dress, guys. I know it's super sheer, but I love it. This also reminds me of when Kate Moss went to the Met Gala in this sheer dress. The back is also exposed. And I'm wearing it with my Manolo shoes. I love this. It's like camouflage, Manolo Blahnik. I had them add a little bit of sole right here because it's kind of like slip out of my feet sometimes. So make it easier. In the fashion show though, the model wore this with boots, which I also love. I mean, this for me would be more realistic if I'm gonna go out and party because this boots that I got from Jill Sander, is super comfortable and I wear them pretty much 90% of the time in the winter and also just like add like an edge onto something so like flowy and feminine and then you have this like leather boots yeah I love this outfit what is one thing that you regret buying for example this reformation dress I went through a period that I love super floral feminine dresses I just don't think it's me. I don't regret it. I do love this dress, but you know, it's also not cheap. Realization dresses are like $200 and up. $200, I could buy something from consignment store or even the real real or vintage store, you know, something from like real designer so the quality is better. Also, this dress right here, it's not that I regret it, but I rarely get to wear it. I think I wore it twice only, and most of my clothes I actually wear a lot more often. Like even this dress, I wore it to parties multiple times. I even wore it on the red carpet one time. So similar, for Love and Lemon dresses, they're not cheap, but you know, I actually like this dress, so I wouldn't say I regret it. I don't like regretting things. As you see the clothes and stuff, I actually am pretty much a minimalist when it comes to it. I don't own a lot of clothes. I just feel like the more you own, the less you actually have. Sometimes when I'm in a rush, I just feel like I don't have any clothes to wear. So I feel like the fewer clothes I own, I actually am able to manage it the right way and just like wear it right. Also, I mean, this is not a regret, but this Alexander Wang dress, I love this so much. But you know, now with the recent controversy and stuff, I just feel like this is so iconic of his. And if I wear it out, people are gonna think that I'm sending out the wrong message. I don't support that at all. But you know, this is a beautiful piece. It's a beautiful artwork that a lot of people put their hard work in and work on it for hours, production, you know, all of that. I was thinking about selling it. I mean, it's still brand new, it still has tag. 
so it's brand new never wore it out but now I don't know if I can wear it out at all so yeah what items shape your style even before I transitioned, I was very much into jacket and coats. I just think it makes the whole outfit. So when I transitioned, I actually invested my money into coats. So for example, this vintage Burberry. For me, coats are just like so cool. It's like the finishing touches. Not bad. I feel like this kind of worked now. This reminds me of Christopher Bailey Burberry back in 2010 they were all wearing these like flowy dresses underneath with boots and then the Burberry coat I mean yeah I also have a very similar one but in sway this one's a little bit more flowy yeah actually not bad at all I think with the boots like it kind of pull everything together. What do you guys think? All right, guys. So this is my rocker chick look. This is what I would wear to a concert. I think it's super cool. It's super like rock chick, you know, edgy, low east side girl. I remember I was looking for a pair of shorts like this, like kind of like hot pants, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And my friend was visiting New York, and I took her to be in closet. It's the first thing that I found. I just think it's super cool. I love the edginess. I think like this detail right here is beautiful. The legs be the main attraction. This could also look really cute with mini skirt, black mini skirt, which I have many. I do feel like this is one thing that I own the most, mini skirt. Look at this one. And then this details right here, this patent leather one that I wore so much. The old Zara one, a denim, some All Saint, and helmet length. To complete the look, like with the leather jacket, you kind of like trying a little too hard, or maybe you're part of the band. Let me see if it even works with this. Kinda? No? I feel like this is like very Saint Laurent. Um, but yes, thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have so much cleaning up to do now. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment, let me know what's your favorite outfit. I love you guys so much. I mean it. I wouldn't do this for anyone. <laughs> I'm basically playing dress up for you guys and I enjoy every second of it. If you're a new subscriber, old subscriber, I love all of you. Thank you for being a part of this family and I'll see you next time. Bye.